We condemn the violence. It is not justified in attacking police officers in this way is wrong and our thoughts and prayers are with the police officers who have been injured and we thank them and their colleagues for their courage and determination in impartially applying the rule of law. But the Honourable Member for Sheffield Keeley put her finger on it when she said that the issue here is trust. And taking the peace process forward has to be built on trust. That trust was broken in relation to the findings on the Bobby Story funeral and it has undermined people's trust and confidence in policing and justice in Northern Ireland yeah, yeah. and there is a two-tier policing uh, system in the eyes of some the, and that needs to be addressed. And importantly, Mr Deputy Speaker, there was a breach of trust in relation to the Northern Ireland Protocol and creating barriers to trade between Great Britain and Northern Ireland that we were told would not happen and have happened. And they undermine uh, the sense of identity and the place of Northern Ireland within the United Kingdom. What is the Secretary of State going to do with the Northern Ireland political parties to address issues around policing and justice and, crucially, to replace this protocol with something uh, better that restores Northern Ireland's place fully within the internal market of the United Kingdom? Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Well, as the, uh, the right honourable gentleman uh, knows, obviously we took unilateral action just a few weeks ago to uh, ease some of the issues and issues that would have been even made matters even more um, difficult, uh, as I suggested at the time. And I think it's now uh, very clear there were the right actions to take. And I think through that, people can see that we are determined to deal with some of the problems and the issues there in the protocol. Uh, my right honourable friend, the noble Lord Frosty, is obviously working through the, uh, the correct established bodies with the JCC, etc., with um, our partners in the EU to, to come to and work out a proper solution that is a long-lasting solution um, in terms of those challenges around the protocol. He's absolutely right as well. As I said in my opening remarks around the issue of people perceiving that things have been, not everybody has been treated equally in terms of the implications uh, um, of the rules around coronavirus. And the Bobby Story funeral is, uh, is a very clear example of that. And the decision that came through just a few days before this um, uh, in the days before the violence um, got to the point that it did. He's actually right. There is a very important role for the PSNI and the police and board to be working with communities to restore and build that trust. Uh, it's something I've been talking to the Chief Counsel about. As he knows, I've been talking to the parties on the executive about. I think everybody's very alert to whatever anybody's view of what happened uh, around the funeral. The very real fact is that the decision that was made has had a very substantial impact. Um, and there is work that the various uh, agencies and bodies, the PSNI and the policing board, need to do to reconnect with communities, to show communities that, there is, uh, that they are there, the PSNI is there for the safety and protection of everybody across the entire community of Northern Ireland.